Hello. This is my story. This is my soul. Praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect summation. Perfect dealer. Wish and so rapture. Now burst on my side. Angels descending. Bring from above. Because of mercy. Whispers of love. This is my story. This is my soul. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. This is my soul. Praising my Savior all the day long. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us raise our hand. We can pray one minute to the Lord right now. Our God is good. All the time, all the days of our life, our God will take care of our life. So that let us raise our hand. We can pray one minute, Lord, right now. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for all these sessions right now. During the time of share this word of God. Heavenly Father, thank you for your sending, your anointing and power to each and every people. Giving the power and anointing to each and every people. Are raising up the Lord's hope. Souls. Father God, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Today, straight away, just I'm singing one song after that. I would like to share the book of Ephesians chapter 1. The word of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Book of Ephesians. People are watching online. Please share this gospel message. The Lord. Book of Ephesians chapter, it's a Bible study. Okay. Book of Ephesians chapter 1, Bible study. One by one. Every Wednesday, um, by the grace of God, I would like to share the, um, uh, uh, from Book of Ephesians, and I would like to start from different, different books. I would like to sing one song. You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, I lift up our hands in worship. As we lift your holy name, you deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, I lift up our hands in worship. As we lift your holy name, oh, you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. You are green. Lord, you are green. Praise the Lord. I would like to read today Book of Ephesians. Book of Ephesians is written by Apostle Paul, by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. It's very, very important. No? Book of Ephesians written by Apostle Paul, by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. In this Bible says, Book of Ephesians, when Apostle Paul, when he was in the prison, then that time our God gave the revelation to Apostle Paul. By the revelation, he wrote all this book, all the chapters, all the four, five, six chapters to the church. I would like to read today, which is one Bible says, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, to the saints who are officious and faithful in Christ Jesus. Grace to you and peace from God, our Father, and Lord Jesus Christ. Verse 3, Bible, it's a very important one. Praise the Lord. Verse 3, Bible says, Blessed be the God 
and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. According to the Bible, we are, if you are a born again person, you are the blessed person in Christ Jesus. Blessing, we cannot, blessing, it will never come to your life, in your life by your own efforts. Blessing always is coming according to the word of God. All the spiritual blessings, it will be coming freely from the heaven through Jesus Christ to each and every people, those who are believing in Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So that we cannot do and get the blessings. We cannot do like that. Other religions are teaching, we have to do and receive this blessing. I was in Catholic background from Catholic Church. In Catholic Church, we have to do something and receive the blessings. We have to uh, give some offerings, some money or something we have to give to the Father Catholic Church. Praise the Lord. And you have to pray a certain prayer to the God. Praise the Lord. And all these things, you have to do it. But according to the Bible, Bible says, if you are a child of God, if you are a born again person, we are blessed with all the spiritual blessings in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, how we will receive spiritual blessings? God bless you, everybody. How we can, we will receive blessings, spiritual blessings? Spiritual blessings, we all are receiving. The day, the time, the moment when you believe that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. That time. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So that, according to the Bible, if you are a born again person, you have nothing to worry anything about your life. Always give the thanks and praise to the Lord for these blessings. Praise the Lord. We are the blessed person. Because of this reason, I want to say to all the people, nothing to worry anything about your life. Because if you are a blessed person, our God will take care of your life. All the protections, all the coverage from the Lord, from the heaven, all the help from the heaven, what all the promises which is written in the Bible, in the Old Testament and in the New Testament too. All the blessings. If you are a born again person, you are worthy to receive in your life. This is what I want to say. Sometimes the devil will say, oh, you are, um, you are a failure in your life. You cannot do anything in your life. So many years you are serving, Lord. You know what? Things are, things are not happening, anything in your life. So many years you are waiting to get something in your life. Restoration in your life. Maybe visa or some other things, a house or anything, whatever, children and everything. Praise the Lord. Maybe your um, family members are barren. Praise the Lord. So lots of, lots of things the devil will come and say in your heart. But only one thing we have to say, if you are a child of God, we have to open our mouth and say to the Lord, praise the Lord, or we say to the Satan, I am the blessed person. Praise the Lord. Our God will help me. Praise the Lord. This is what, this is what the Bible says. Okay. So each and every people always say, use the Bible words because you are the blessed person. You have to declare from your mouth. The more you declare, the more things will happen in your life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Shajan Nair, Thomas Matthew, Blessed Roy. Gen C, Agnes Mati. God bless you, everybody. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Book of Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3, 4, Bible says, Just as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Why? By, by what is the Bible? The Bible says, Our God has chosen you before the foundation of the world. Most of the people are thinking, Accidentally, your birth happened in this world. But Bible says, your birth happened not accidentally in this world. <coughs> it was the special plan and purpose of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Towards you. There's the book of Jeremiah. Book of Jeremiah, Bible says, okay. I would like to say, book of Jeremiah, chapter 1, verses 5, Bible says, before I formed you in the belly, I know you. And before you come forth out of the womb, I sanctified you. 
I have appointed you a prophet to the nations. Our God was saying to the prophet Jeremiah, before your birth, I have seen you. I have sanctified you. I have appointed you as a prophet to the nations. This is a thing I want to say to all the people. Most of the people are thinking your birth happened accidentally in this world. No. Some people are thinking, I'm preaching the gospel here today. So um, you are thinking, oh, somebody's effort, because you are, sometimes you are preaching the gospel by your own effort. It is not at all by your own effort. You are what all the things you are doing for God. You are doing by the grace of God because our God has called you before your birth, before the foundation of the world, to preach the good news in front of everybody. This is what I want to say for the gospel. So the people are doing the gospel work. Nothing to worry anything about your life. The people are doing something about God, something to God. Please continuously do that gospel work. Our God will bless you. Some people will preach the gospel in the street. Some people are distributing the tracts in the gospel tracts in the street. Some people will you know that one doing something in our um, church, in outside or whatever, with the love of God. Each and everything, whatever you are doing, when their heaven is watching you, praise the Lord. Our God is looking at you because you yourself, you cannot do, you are not at all doing by your own effort. It was a special assignment, a special plan of Jesus Christ according the calling, God's calling, you are doing this gospel work. You are working at the kingdom of God. Praise the Lord. Um, this is what I want to say. So everybody, all the people are watching. I want to say, no, sometimes, you know, in my example, my life, if I want to say, most of the time, when I was preaching the gospel in the street, I was alone. Today, I went out and preached the gospel. It was a rain today, rainy day. Couple of people, they said they are going to come with me the gospel. In the morning, they said they are not well. <laughs> they said they are not well. The two people said, one, the, the, the other person said, I'm going for a job in. doesn't matter. And finally, they were asking to me, are you going today to stay? Definitely I'm going, praise the Lord. Because I cannot uh, stop to preach the gospel. The gospel is the power of the Lord. Who is preaching this gospel? Not only sending, moving the power from you to each and every people, but each and every people are getting salvation. When the people are getting salvation, our God will expand your territory too. Because you are, our God is doing something through you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Today, it was rainy day. You can see that one. Uh, in the video, you can see that one. I will be posting the YouTube too. It was rainy day. Even if it was rainy day, by the grace of God, I could pray the gospel. Pray the, I will never look at when I am preaching the gospel, how many number of people are here in this gospel. Yes, I am doing my duty and coming back. One hour or two hour time, we will be preaching the gospel and coming back to my home. That's all. I will never look at the surrounding places, what the things are happening. Pray the Lord. Hallelujah. In this Bible says, before I formed you in the belly, I know you. This is what I want to say. If our God is calling you, you have to sometimes, most of the time, you will be alone. You will face the loneliness in your life. Famine time you will face in your time, in your time, in your life. Joseph, you face famine time. Lots of, uh, you know, the times you are facing alone. Uh, you know that one in his life. But our God was with him. Wherever Joseph was going, even if he was in the prison, our God's presence it was with him. In other words, our God's favor was with Joseph. Because of this reason, wherever he was sitting and going, the people, those who were standing surrounding place of Joseph, they were having the compassion towards Joseph. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So that today, I want to say, your birth in this world, it is not at all accidentally happened. I would like to read the book of Ephesians continuously. Praise the Lord. Chapter 1, Bible says, verses 5, Bible says, having predestined us to adoption as sons by Jesus Christ to himself according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace, 
by which he made us accepted in the beloved. That's the seven Bible says in him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. Only one God can forgive our sins. All these benefits are getting not for the world people. Forgiveness of your sin. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Forgiveness of your sin. Heavenly blessings in your life. All these things. If the people are getting those who are born again. Those who are in the kingdom of God. How we can be in the kingdom of God. This is very important. We can be in the kingdom of God. By hearing this gospel. After that when you, when you say. That Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. From your mouth. And believing this God is my Savior in your heart. That time. You are in the kingdom of God. Praise the Lord. So today. Most of the people are in the kingdom of God. But you are forgetting your duty. You are forgetting about your duty. Most of the people, I go to the Bible, I want to encourage all the people. If you are neglecting that God, the duty which our God has given to you, our God will appoint somebody in place of you. Praise the Lord. The assignment which our God has given to you, our God will say, you are not at all doing anything. If you are not doing the assignment which our God has given to uh, in your life, if any of the things are happening in this world, sometimes you may get the premature death. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Devil can do. That means our God will never give the premature death. Devil can do something in your life. Maybe some sickness or anything. That means if you are not working the kingdom of God, not working the spirit of God, that means the devil will lead your life. When the devil is leading your life, anybody's life, those who are not in Christ Jesus. Definitely your life will get perished. That is what Jesus Christ said. Jesus Christ came to this world and not to destroy anybody, but to get eternal life, to get the blessing to each and every, to get life everlasting, to give the light of the world to each and every people. That's what Apostle John was saying. What I have heard, what I have heard in my ear, what I have touched, what I have seen. This is what I'm proclaiming and preaching to each and every people. Even Jesus Christ, there's no darkness at all. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. This is what I want to say today to each and every people. Sometimes you are standing in UK, Europe, living in York, UK, Europe, or Africa, North or South America, Asian countries, or any of the countries. I want to say to each and every people. You are the light of the world. Light always shine in the darkness. Praise the Lord. You know, when I was preaching the gospel in the street, sometimes lots of people are coming, they were coming and disturbing. One of the people, they were, he was preaching the Quran. He was always coming. But not all the people are from that community. It's not like that. They are nice people. But some people, praise the Lord, they were coming and disturbing me in one place. The same way he was disturbing other people. When I was preaching the gospel, the last I had been in the same place the one month before. <laughs> I was seeing this man. When he saw me, he was not saying anything. I was preaching the gospel. But he was disturbing other people, other gospel preachers. Then what did happen? There was a big clash happened there. Fighting, praise the Lord. Somebody's beaten him. Finally, the police came. So how it happened like that? So our God... You know, the devil always will do all kind of the evil things. Our God will, the, will give the protection. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So that I want to say, if you're walking in the spirit of God, our God will give the protection. So wherever you are standing, nothing, nothing to worry anything about your life. Our God is a protector. Will be your protector. Praise the Lord. Bible says, verses 5, Bible says, book of Isaiah, book of Ephesians, chapter 1, verses 5, having predestined us to the adoption as sons by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pressure of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace, by which he made us accepted in the beloved. Verse 7, Bible says, In him 
we have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace which he made to abound towards us in all wisdom and prudence having made known to us the mystery of his will according his to his good pleasure which he purposed in himself that in the dispensation of the fullness of the times he might gather together in one all things in christ both which are in heaven and which are on the earth in him again by which is in him also we have obtained an inheritance It's very important inheritance that means a wide meaning what all the blessings what all the promise our god said to the abraham you shall be the blessings lift up your eyes the right side the north south west and east wherever you are looking wherever you are touching your feet that place will be yours that means all the blessings which our god is given to in the old testament all your fathers praise lord all the characters in the old testament this promise is 100% indeed it will be coming for you and me those who are in christ jesus praise the lord hallelujah that's what ever says in him also we have obtained an inheritance being predestined according to the purpose of him who works all things according to the counsel of his will that we who first trust in christ should be to the praise of his glory praise the lord and in him so that bible says verse 13 and 14 bible says in him you also trust after you heard the word of truth the gospel of your salvation in whom also having believed you are sealed with the holy spirit of promise another thing if you are a born again person we are sealed by the promise of holy if holy spirit is coming to your heart then what will happen all the things which will get changed your impossible things will will happen as a possible things maybe you are uh, you you are thinking no way to go forward our god is saying i will open a door for you if i am opening a door nobody can shut that door praise the lord hallelujah if holy spirit is coming to your heart things will help you so things all the things will get changed there should be in the time of book of acts chapter 1 and 2 our god is give you the guidance to all the disciples i'm going to my father place when i'm going to my father place i will send a promise the promise which our god has already promised to each and every people each and every people that means those who are in christ jesus this promise its name is called the spirit of god the holy spirit book of acts chapter 2 all the disciples they were uh, obeying what jesus christ had said they were praying to the lord in an upper room 120 120 people with mother mary that time they all could receive they all they were receiving the power of the holy spirit in their heart finally apostle peter he was preaching the gospel in front of everybody the first preaching thousands and thousands of people received the salvation how it happened like that in apostle paul in his own power when you are reading the bible he was not to preach the gospel he was preaching by the mighty power of the holy spirit the power of the holy spirit was moving when the power of the holy spirit was moving that time book of acts chapter 3 the person one of the person who was a crippled person from his mother's womb from his birth itself apostle peter was saying i do not have the silver or gold but what i have that i am giving to you the name of jesus christ of nazareth you rise up you get up and walk this is your when the spirit of god is coming to you and believe all things will happen your job the situation will get changed your family life will get changed the people are not having the children our god will bless new children for you praise the lord your children will get a better education you will get the knowledge the power the wisdom 
your sickness, all the sickness, by the power of the Holy Spirit, it will get healed. Praise the Lord. That means one who is in your heart is greater than everything in this world. That name is called to Jesus Christ. If you are born again, boss, the glory of the Lord which dwells in your heart. All the Father and Son and the Holy Spirit, they dwell dwelling in your heart. So all the people are watching. When I'm reading book of Ephesians chapter 1, verse 13, the Bible says, Our God has sealed if you are born again person in you by the promise of the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit is coming, the, you are, all the failures will go away. All the people are in born again person. You will get a new successful story. Forget it about the last 14 years, 20 years, 50 years, 100 years, your failure. Our God can change your life. Praise the Lord. 40 years, 80 years, Moses was struggling in his life. But our God has called to Moses to lead all the children of Israel from the land of Egypt to the promised land of Ghana. Moses was leading all the children of Israel by the power of the Holy Spirit. 40 years more, our God has extended his life. So that all the people are watching. Bible says, book of Ephesians chapter uh, 1 verse 40, Bible says, who is a guarantee of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchase of possession to the, to the price of his glory. So if you are having any problem today, I want to ask to each and every people, ask to the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit will guide you. Holy Spirit will lead you. Holy Spirit will help you how to do it and everything. Apostle Paul, he was a prosecutor, big prosecutor, before writing all these books. He was prosecuted to the church of God. He was a killer. He was killing the people by the support of the high priest and everybody. Then what happened? Finally, our God is called Apostle Paul to preach his gospel. He was preaching the gospel wherever he, he had prosecuted the church of God. In all the places, he was preaching his gospel from city to city. Book of Luke chapter 10, verse 16, Bible says, He who, he who hears you, hears me. He who rejects you, rejects me. And he who rejects me, rejects him who sent me. The people, those who are doing the gospel work, doesn't matter what prosecution you are facing. Bible says when anybody is rejecting you, they are rejecting not you. They are ridiculing not you. They are doing against to me. Praise the Lord. So the people are holding the Bible and preaching the gospel. Go forward with the gospel. This God will honor you. Praise the Lord. This God will establish you. That means God will give the his divine power to each and every people. So Book of Luke chapter 10, verse 17, Bible says, Then the 70 returned with the joy, saying, Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. Praise the Lord. Why all the 70 people, 30 disciples, they could cast out the demons and preach the gospel work? Because our God, he was giving the power of the Holy Spirit to each and every people before sending. Our God was sending to each and every disciple from city to city, two by two. They preached the gospel, healed the sick people, did lots of miracles in the name of Jesus Christ. This is what even today, to you, after the 2023 years later, all the miracle which is happening in this world in the name of Jesus Christ. Devil can do miracles, but he, born again people, when you preach the gospel, if the miracle is happening in the name of Jesus Christ, that miracle will come indeed 100% in the name of Jesus Christ from the heaven. So that I want to request to all the people right now, if all the disciples could be able to perform the miracle, how much more you can do it? Because of Jesus Christ is loving so much each and every people. Jesus Christ is loving so much each and every people. Never look at your sinful life today. Repent your heart and say to the Lord, and Lord, come to my heart and forgive my sins and help me 
and deliver me from this wicked one definitely our god will deliver you that's what the bible says first john chapter 5 which is one bible says those who are believing in jesus christ you are from above that means you are seated in the heaven you are the heavenly citizen your citizenship from the heaven not from earth no matter which country you are from no matter what is your color no matter what is your circumstances no matter you are rich or poor bible says in front of jesus christ all are the same in front of jesus christ after your death after our death if you are in christ jesus praise the lord all will go to the heaven the people those who are not born again all the people will go to the hell praise the lord the world position the world money all the things for which you are see in this world that and all is nothing that are nothing only jesus christ is the greatest thing in our life that should have said those who are in christ jesus we are the new creation verse to john chapter 5 bible says the wicked one cannot touch your body because we are the more than a conqueror in christ jesus how you can become a more than a conqueror in christ jesus because one who is greater than in this world overcome the world that is the dwells that god dwells in your heart that is jesus christ so that the people are watching online so pray to the lord oh lord help me and lead me even if i am alone show me give me the revelation give me the power praise the lord give the anointing praise the lord some people are watching right now uh, um, uh, god showed me praise the lord some papers are getting signed some papers are getting signed right now praise the lord some papers are getting signed right now i'm going to pray for heavenly father i pray for the purpose which is signing right now heavenly father in the name of jesus christ that everything let it come in favor of them right now god who are seeing that vision Holy Father, bless him in Jesus. Which is coming anything against all the documents in the name of Jesus Christ. I bind that cast out right now. Cancel that which is coming against anything in their life. Holy Father, I cancel that. I declare everything what should come. The things which is coming, which want to come in favor of them in their life. Holy Father, I granting that in Jesus. Amen. God bless you. So, uh, Bible says, okay, all the disciples said, um um demons are subject to us in your name book of luke chapter 10 verse 18 by jesus and jesus Christ said to them i saw satan fall like a lightning from heaven luke 10 verse 19 bible says jesus Christ has given great authority to all the disciples bible says i give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you praise the lord help you so today if you are a born again person one thing you have to you should think it over you are a successful person never look at all the failures in your life what is happening in your life who oh, i cannot go forward you each and every failures you have to say you have to say from your mouth what all the failures when the time of all the failures are happening in your life that time you have to look at your failures you have to say in front of everybody to the satan you have to say today sometimes it will happen like that tomorrow one day i will be a more than a conqueror in christ jesus my god is a gracious god he is having loving kindness towards me one day he will prepare a table for me in front of my adversaries so today i will never care the things which is happening against my life today you have to say from your mouth things which is happening in my life in favor of me that is what i'm looking at in my life this uh, when i'm looking all these things in my mind when i seeing all the things in the heaven what is going to happen in favor of me in the future i will go forward to reach that destination you have to say accordingly in your heart praise the lord i want to pray for you one people are watching online i want to pray for you when the time of prayer may our god touch each and every soul praise the lord heavenly father so some people are getting the visions some i i believe lots of people got the encouragement praise the lord may god bless you more and more heavenly father in the name of jesus christ thank you for this word of god heavenly father i pray for them thank you for a touch in lots of souls give him more power and anointing to each and every people heavenly father this is what bible says we have got the inherit inheritance through jesus christ how we are getting inheritance through jesus christ by believing that jesus christ is your lord and savior we have got in christ heavenly father i pray for each and every people bless all the nations right now father for the revival 
that all the river door open in front of everybody those are doing the gospel work father god i pray for each and every people let the depression go out the spirit of depression the spirit of sickness the spirit of tumor the spirit of allergy the spirit of arthritis the spirit of cancer the spirit of hiv positive the spirit of migraine the spirit of where is kinds of sickness which is happening and afflicted by uh, by the table every father in the name of jesus christ has sprinkled the blood of jesus christ on the people by right? by and take us out right now god right now in jesus name ശിതത്തപ്പത്തലത്തുരക്കൻ <laughs> thank you for a sending out from the present the name of jesus christ in the spirit of prosecution cancel right now in the name of jesus christ in jesus name so the shail and nayar god bless my dad very uk registration no she is still to apply i pray for uh, sathya nayar a blessed brother thank you for a giving your loving kindness to the sister right now father in jesus name of I pray for all the people right now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I pray for Brother Jansi, Clea, Mercy Isaac, Gloria, Shaiju BP, Babu Matai, and Sabu Chiran. I pray for everybody, Father. I bless each and every people. Yes, I pray for the things which I am doing for you. Those who are supporting you. the shaykh and ash minister by prayer and see it heavenly father that pray for once again more i pray for each and every people in jesus name amen so i know god did the greatest things in our life i believe lots of people could could receive the touch from them it was a blessing so god bless you